Hi everyone, welcome to Synapse's What Is series. My name is Christy Sadler and each week we'll be looking at different learning and development topics and exploring some of the latest thinking around them. Uh, today we'll be talking about Bloom's taxonomy, so let's get right to it. Bloom's taxonomy is a set of three hierarchical models used to classify learning objectives. Cognitive, effective, and psychomotor. Now, cognitive is focused on knowledge, effective on emotion, and psychomotor deals more with the physical aspects. The model itself was named after Benjamin Bloom because he chaired the committee back in the 1950s when the taxonomy itself was developed. Uh, before it was developed, though, people believed that only some people had the capacity to progress in their learning, and only those learners were worthy of their educator's attention. So obviously, that didn't work for all learners, and some people were getting left behind. Bloom's research showed educators how to maximize the potential of individual learners. It was an educational renaissance because it really provided a framework for implementing new discoveries about how people learn. And the use of Bloom's verbs to classify learning objectives has really been informing many aspects of learning and instructional design ever since. For example, if a learner has good recall of a particular subject, they require learning designed to bring them to the next level of knowledge on that subject. It's really focused on comprehension. The learning objectives will then inform the instructional design of the courses uh, to ensure that the needed level of learning is achieved. And technology is more revolutionizing than replacing um, Bloom's taxonomy. Really, Bloom's taxonomy is still the backbone of a lot of that learning theory. It still provides a method to help stakeholders articulate and understand the real performance objectives of a training course. And it's really widely used in instructional design even today. Um, you'll actually see the use of Bloom's taxonomy in Synapse's learning design system. Our system helps to automate that instructional design process and a big part of that is making sure that best practices in adult learning theory is baked right into the development of the courses. If you'd like to learn more about our learning design system, uh, just come to our website at getsynapse.com. That's G-E-T-S-Y-N-A-P-S-E.com. And if you'd like to know more about Bloom's taxonomy, Wikipedia has a great article on the topic that's got more detail than we provided to you today. Uh, so thanks for joining us for this video, and we'll have lots more What Is videos coming down the pike for you. Um, if you liked it, please let us know, and if you've got suggestions for more What Is videos, uh, please leave some comments and uh, we'll, we'll develop those. So thanks again, and hope to see you next time.